Welcome to episode 8 of my gel press printing series. In this particular video, I'd like to share with you how I made this landscape utilizing a few magazine pages, some asparagus ferns out of my garden, and that was it. So my name is Peg, and I call my channel 2 Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe to my channel, and of course that notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. So I have this um, quest to learn and utilize my gel press, and let's get that out and make sure that it is clean. And let's begin by etching our first mask for the mountains. So I'm just taking a magazine page and cutting out that top mountain range. So that will be mask number one. Now I'm utilizing a Sharpie and drawing the second mountain range on the second magazine page. And that will be mask number two. And this is, you can tear, you can cut, you can draw, you can just freeform tear it. This is how I'm choosing to do it. And now mask number three will be that third mountain range. I think I want that a little lower. I think I want a little darker color to come in there. So I'm thinking that through as I have my page and paper out. And I suppose I could have turned these magazine pages around and not had so much waste, but Let's go with what we have, right? So let's start first with the cold gray, and that is what I am utilizing for my base layer. And I'm mixing a little titanium white with that to lighten it up just a bit. I'm just spreading a very light coat across the entire gel press, and I will lay down my paper, and my first pull will just be that cold gray color. Now, it, you know, choose your own colors. I, cho I chose the cold gray. So that is print number one. I'm going to put down some additional white and cold gray, and we'll pull two, and we'll work with two as we move along. That cold gray, the only place I can find that is from Arteza, Arteza, I'm not exactly sure how they pronounce it, but I love that color. I think it's one of my favorite colors. And there's a nice background for our landscape. And I'm just going to clean my press by pulling another print. And that will be a nice background for a future project. We'll just lay that aside. And now for our second color, I'm going to utilize a violet and a little bit of the uh, iridescent white. We'll spread that on a fine layer. Lay our mask number one and pull the same print or put the same print back on. And there's our first range of mountains. And I'm just going to pull that same print back in and clean this. Press. And you can see where the transfer of the words on the magazine page showed up. So it's going to make a nice background. And 
and I'm bringing the violet back with a little bit of black. So I'm going to darken that color just a bit for the next range. And we'll put mask number two down. You can see I numbered them. And I'm just lining up my sheet. And there is the second mountain range. So it's starting to take shape. We'll take that, we'll call it our catch paper or our cleaning print. And that's going to make a nice background. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do here. We'll pull in some more of that violet and black. Maybe just deepen it a bit. And we'll lay our third mask on and I just added a bit more black this time. And there's my bottom mountain range. Clean the press. And there's our start for something else. I'm just going to lay down some black and I have these um, tops of the asparagus that I pulled out of the garden and I'm inking them up and I'm just going to lay them down on the bottom of this print and I'm putting the paper over the top of them to transfer the ink. So I'm going to ink those up on my press just rolling my brayer over to get them full of ink. And it's the, the top of the asparagus is just a feathery fern, and that's why I chose that. I mean, it can be anything you pull out of your yard, a blade of grass, uh, something off of one of your bushes. Anything works that you like the look of. And I am going straight black and just pressing that print down using that uh, piece of asparagus fern as a stencil, if you will. And there we have the grass at the bottom but I think we need some highlights. So let's get the completed black down a little, little more over here on this side. And now let's come back in with some white. Let's clean this press up a bit. I have a baby wipe. I'll just wipe that black off. Give me a good clear palette place spot to put the white. We'll grab some titanium white. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull those asparagus ferns in and just kind of highlight them down along the bottom of this print. And that, I think, adds that touch of light. There, much better. And a little 
dab to create some clouds across the top. I think we want some clouds inside that mountain range. And we shall call that complete. So here is the finished print. Another easy way to use the gel press to create a page or a background page for your art journal. I think I'm going to just stick this in a frame. So thanks for stopping by my channel and I hope you will take a moment and subscribe. I've put the playlist for the other gel press videos up above. Bye for now.